Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to Graveyard Keeper, where in today's episode we're going to be continuing on with making, frankly, obscene amounts of uh, fish to sell to the merchant. I'm not sure he really would want the fish, considering it's just been stuck in this chest for all this time. Yeah, probably not the freshest fish, really, when you think about it. Nevertheless, we're going to find out how he feels about it in, well, one day, actually. Yeah, well, less than one day, because he'll be there very soon. Uh, shall I use another sleep potion, or shall I just check first to see if we've got any pumpkins? We do! We have 26! Those 26 pumpkins are going to make me some metabolize, uh, some uh, slow, me uh, not enough, slow metabolism food. Blah, 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 blah. That was very hard to say for some strange reason. I don't know why, but uh, let's just drop this off over here. There you go. And we'll come back for you shortly. Okay, well, I need some more trees chopped because we need to burn one more funeral pyre so we can get a beautiful, beautiful marble columbrum. There we are. Let's move you along. Nope. Calm yourself. There we are. That's right. Straight down there. That's one pyre. We'll go grab the the uh, wood for the next. Also, I can now get the um, baked pumpkin going. There we go. Nice. Nice and easy. Uh, yeah, we're probably going to get all of the, the pyres ready. Rather than just getting enough for one. I just don't think there's that much use to it. Now, it is so much easier. So much easier to ferry wood when you're moving slowly. The moment you start moving quickly, it's all over the place. But when, when it's slow and gentle, it's like, yep, yep, nice and controlled. Why that should be the case, considering I'm not actually dribbling it left or right or anything like that. I'm just going straight forward. I don't know, but it, it's a quite a noticeable effect. That's three pyres, and we want one more. Are you a grown tree? No. None of you are suitable. You, however, let's get you chopped. Thank you. Uh, actually, we'll train all of this wood down a little bit. That'll do. And, oops, down we go. So much easy. Yeah. Oh, nope. I say and then fail. That should be fine. Thank you. Come on. Stop showing me up. There we go. We'll get the other ones over there as well. We'll just take all the billet down. Get the pyre burning. Hopefully get ourselves a... Well, I'm going to have to make three more polished marble and two silver marble statues. So let's get on top of that right now, actually, before we head down. So... Polished marble. We want two statues, so we need two polished marble to start with. One, and indeed two. There we go. Come on, silver statues. You know you want to work for us. Everyone is waiting eagerly. Well done. Okay, number two. And the survey says success. Fantastic. I like it when the survey says success. It is... More or less, my favourite survey response. There we go. And this will bring us up to the four needed. We'll drop off all of this now. Excellent. Drop off these. Now, of course, we're not just going to be able to go down there and immediately build all of this because we've got to get the ash from the pyre back to the kitchen. Fill the urns with it. Why we do that in our kitchen of all places. And on our kitchen top of all places. I don't know. Don't ask me questions like that. I don't have the answers. Nevertheless, it's where we do it. So, uh, Actually, on that note. We will pop in. Grab the pumpkin. The baked pumpkin slices. Use our speed potion. Grab everything we're going to need for the merchant. Yeah, I think we're going to do it in that order. Uh, and then we'll be on our way. Ooh, gold star. Very well, I accept. Right, gold star pumpkins. Nom. Right, uh, with that... Oh yes, we want to grab... Let's take five cakes. Three. 
three and one. And I think that should be good enough. Yes. Okay. Let's make them. Uh, I haven't got anything else we want to drop off, do I? No. No, I do not. Good, good, good. Let's go and get these pies set up. We should be able to get everything on the road. One, two, three, and four. Don't have this many bodies waiting for us right now, but we'll get them set up like this first. There we are. And let's have a look. Uh, drop off these. I'm going to set up the, the pies first since it's a little bit easier. Oh dear. I forgot my bad. Ah dear. Never mind, never mind, never mind. It was not going to be a good corpse anyway simply because we had to remove a, uh, a dark component. And that was going to mean that it didn't have very many uh, um, red skulls left or skulls in general. So that's fine. We were saved by luck, not judgment there. Very much by luck, not judgment. I unfortunately, I don't think I'm going to have... Well, I'll have time to set the pies to go. But I'm not really going to have much time beyond that, unfortunately. In fact, I think we're just going to get these two going. Then we're going to hop over to the merchant straight away. Merchant, don't you dare leave. I've got some things to sell you. There we are. You can have this. You can have all of those, all of those, all of those. Okay, the fish. Despite the fish being a much harder thing to make, in my opinion, don't get as much for it. Hmm. That's a bit of a pain. But oh well. I'm not selling you my wine. No. Absolutely not. 100% not getting my wine. However, I will go and get... Well, we'll get this corpse up onto the uh, the slab straight away. And then we will promptly take... Uh, yeah, we'll take the ash to get the next um, Columbria map. Let's have a look at this corpse. Is it a good corpse? One hopes. It is a good corpse, actually. Sure. Let's get the blood out. And the fat. I'm going to leave the bone. We've got enough bones at this point. Any of the organs particularly good to take out? No, not really. All right, let's get you on there. And we'll start off with lie. There we go. And then we can go down onto the pyre. And we can build another pyre out of the eight wood that we had left. Okay, not bad at all, I must say. How long does this actually take? Let's just hang around and see. Okay, we are very low now on uh, stamina restoratives. Gonna have to pick up a bunch of the cider that we've got in the chests in our cellar. All right. Go. Actually, we can use the brain. We can just break that down if we particularly want to. Which might well be worth it, actually. Uh, right, so. Exactly enough. Perfect. We're going to need to make more, then. Right, let's go and grab the cider. We'll take 20. Uh, okay. Now then, we should be able to get everything going. We'll just break down the dark brain straight away. Uh, yeah, is the dark brain this one? No, the dark brain is essence. Uh, sorry, um, is it solution? Yeah, solution extract powder. There we go. Drop off the bones, and, uh, sort of the fat and the blood. I think we're just about ready. There's still going to be another corpse ready for us to go and uh, grab the ash. No, actually, no, we, we, we waited for it. That's right. So that's not going to be an issue for us. Okay. Time 
was to get you up and running. But before then, I'm just going to go and grab another, another body to fill in that grave. There we go. Actually, does this one need to be... Ready? Yeah, let's... Oh, we haven't got the silver solution anymore. Alright, so that's going to be the job for coming back through the church then. Let's so get you down. And with that, our first little section with the columbriums is complete. Well, more or less. We can still improve all of the corpses here. Including that one, though that one's a reasonable corpse, I suppose. But this will push us up over the 600 threshold. And there we go. 621! How marvellous. I do approve. I do approve. Okay, so we're going to be working our way down now, replacing these ones a little bit. Um, or maybe. Are these corpses? Oh, yeah, we really do need to replace those, don't we? Very much. Well, that one maybe not, actually. But definitely those two. Those two. This one. Yeah. We, maybe. We'll, we'll see. It is an eight, I guess. It's not terribly bad, but it's, neither is it terribly good. Let's drop you off. There we go. Oops. Wrong, wrong thing. Uh. No, actually, there's not much more we want to do in there. Let's instead make sure the Comrade Donkey's got some carrots. He does not. So let's get him another ten. There we go. Alright. Now, we'll grab some apples as well, I think. And make some more berry juice so that we can make some pies. I don't really think making just ridiculous amounts of cakes is that good for us right now. I think I would prefer to get a bit of a mix of meals so that we can sell to Haradric as well. Now, we only have two more days to go before we can go and speak with the astronomer. And maybe progress that quest. I swear, if he tells me, wait another week, do do something, make it, I'm, I'm just, I, I've... I might just throw myself into the ocean next to the lighthouse. Mostly because I know I'm immortal. Still, it is a thing that might happen. Right. Well, we no longer have any gold quality wine, so let's swap to this. Do we have any fertilizer up here? Because if we do, I'm going to take it up. Yeah, we do. Good, good, good. I'm going to take it up and we're going to make some more wine, I guess. Right, okay then. Let's go and drop off all of these in here. Some more big pumpkin first. Let's quickly make all of the berry juice that we can. Oops, a little bit too far. There we go. Another eight. Won't go amiss. We can then just batch make the berry pies. And that's the nice thing about using the berry juice, is because we can batch it. Whereas the if we're making it out of grapes. Because the grapes have a quality, I, I, that still boggles my mind why we can't have that in such a way that uh, we can just place that wherever. Right, grab you. Tomorrow we get to use the Dark Heart, and I am extremely excited for that. Oh, that's a bit of a ping. Alright, guess we'll just leave all of that around. Right, there we go. Let's get some of those berry pies being made. In fact, we're just going to go straight to 32 berry pies. Marvellous. They're only going to be, uh... They're only going to be copper, though. That's a bit of a shame. Alright. Well, uh... We are likely going to be swinging by Harad... Well, no. It might be a little while before we swing by Harad. So, let's leave that there, actually. And, in fact, let's leave the gold... Um... The gold pumpkin. There's one. Yeah, that, well, we need to sleep quickly before we do anything else. There we go. Refreshed. Ah, it's good to be able to sleep 10 seconds and feel like you've had a full night's rest. Right, let's go and get all of the wine planted. So first, I'm going to get that going. Right, what do I want? I want 
Grape seeds. I see absolutely no reason not to go full on and get the uh, best grapes we can. Oh my donkey, I'm busy. Can you not hear me planting? The sound of like some mysterious chest opening and closing over and over and over again. Ah, how rude. But we've got a full field of gold grapes. That's actually pretty awesome. We can get the uh, gold grapes on there as well. Then we'll switch over to silver. I think I'm only going to plant these ones first, and then we're going to go and take care of that corpse. It's a little bit of a higher priority, but still, I do want to get as many of these uh, going as we can, because it's been quite a while since we've actually had uh, a batch of wine made. There we go. That'll do me. I'm going to drop this off now. All right, quickly off to take care of this corpse before we can go and speak with the Inquisitor tomorrow. And then after that, we get to talk with the astrologer. Ah, oh, everything is coming together. Ah, finally. The wait is almost over. All right, how good is this corpse? Hopefully very. But first, let me just make sure that you're going to... Oh, wait, I've got to make the uh, silver solution first, don't I? My bad. Um, yeah, it's not a bad corpse. It's not an amazing one either, though, but still. I think we can do something with it. We'll get some lye in there straight away. Now we need to go and make a silver solution. I might want to make the speed potions as well, actually. As we rush past. Do we have enough to do that? Uh, no, we need some chaos solution. Okay. Well, that's definitely something we can look into. Actually, we've only got enough to make one silver elixir as well. Okay, it looks like we've kind of run down our alchemical supplies. A bit of a potch, but as well as it's to be expected. Well, this will at least give us four, but... Okay, we need a chaos solution. So bat wings will do. A couple of these. Let me go a little bit further. We'll go up to 10. So another two from here. And then I need to check again. I think it was order solution we need to make the silver elixir. Put those in. I strongly suspect it was order solution. Yeah, it was. Uh, for now, let's just go ahead and make six speed potions. <sighs> it is... It, it, it does amuse me that for the vast majority of the game, we were traveling at, at the basic speed. And it didn't really feel slow. It just felt that I couldn't sprint. But now, traveling at the basic speed doesn't just feel slow. It feels like I'm crawling. On my elbows. I'm wearing them down to the stumps. It, it's awful. I don't like it. At all. Uh, Alright, let's grab another speed potion. With that being said. Uh, we now need order solution. What do we have here? There we go. Daisies. Thank you. And once again, we'll go for ten. Well, actually, no. We don't need even remotely that much silver elixir. So let's only go for six of those. That, going any further than that is just dumb. Um, there we go. We'll get all six of those done. Oh, did I get two out of it? It might be possible that I produce two at a time. Hmm, no, I only produce one. Curious. I'm fairly certain that I've got one in my inventory. All right, well, we'll go and have a look at that in a moment. There we go. I doubt we've got the conical flasks to be able to turn this much silver elixir into um, silver injections. So I'm just going to store these. And then we'll see. Now then, have we got enough? Uh, actually, no, we've got quite a lot. We don't need to do that much though. Yeah, we, we made two. Okay, uh, that's fair enough then. Right, 
Well, we're not going to worry about uh, Silver Elixir for a while. So, sorry, uh, Silver Injections for a while. In fact, we'll probably need Gold Injections before then. Alright, so Silver, please. Go with you. Silver down here as well. There we are. And with that, I think it's time for us to go and visit our good friend, the Inquisitor. Well, I feel I feel awkward. I, I've grown I've grown to like the Inquisitor a little bit more. But still, lots of witches bend. Now I've been assured in the comments that the witch burnings have stopped. And so we're gonna go and visit him and see what he has to say. Hello, Inquisitor. Uh give him a piece of dark evidence. Good. We've gathered enough evidence. I will show these cursed organs to the king. We'll tear the town to pieces looking for heretics. Ah, uh, that doesn't sound good. Frankly. Okay. I run this yet. <laughs> I think there's no point if we can't burn any witches. Well, I mean, surely that's a good thing, though. I think it's a good thing, even if you don't keep it. But, yes, I, again, quite a few people have said that, yeah, you don't have to worry. It, it, there isn't any more um, witch burning. And it never, it never starts again, which, uh, okay. Let's hope that you're right. Let's go ahead and plant some more grapes while we're here. There we are. I don't think there's particularly much point in me making beer. I mean, I could sell it to Herandric, but I don't really feel that it's that much point to that. I'm also a little bit tempted to go and see if I can't do anything new in the, in the dungeon, but I've got a strong suspicion that, that there is no dungeon now, unfortunately, that we've largely cleared it out. Initially, when I was playing the alpha, I was under the impression that it would be procedurally generated, and so you'd have effectively a limitless dungeon to play in, but it doesn't seem to have uh, to have manifested in that way. Maybe that'll be one of the things that gets added in the new content update that'll be coming out. I, I believe they're aiming for a little bit later this month. One can but hope. There we go. That will get us a good bit of wine. More than, than well, hopefully more than we're going to need for the rest of the game. Right, okay. Well, given that then, let's go ahead and uh, make some more marble. We'll make... Hmm, let's go and get four pieces of polished marble. And if we can get two silver statues out of that, I'm going to be extremely happy. And we will then make some marble grave fences. There we go. Come on, 80%. Thank you very much, Comrade Donkey. Hopefully that corpse is a good one. We will soon find out. Oh, marvellous. Excellent, in fact. Oh, gold story, wow. Okay, not bad at all. Both of these done, and then we'll get the. Uh, yeah, we'll go with Reaper and Angel again. Oh, actually, no, no, no. We're gonna go with two Reapers this time. There we are. Unfortunately, we do go through energy very quickly working on these. So I have none left. Wow. Okay. Well, I'm just gonna eat that just to finish it. But that's a bit frustrating. I'm gonna have to go and grab. Oh, well, I mean, I guess I could sell those, <laughs> or I could eat them. Uh, but we're going to grab... Sure, we'll grab 40. Uh, sorry. 40. There we are, that'll do. We're going to be selling the berry pies to her, Adric. Uh, okay, maybe... Maybe that'll be something that we're selling later on. <laughs> maybe I will be eating them. We need to go and check on this corpse, though, first, before we do anything else. 98%, that's no good. Right, on to the gold... Injections now, and you can move on to the glue injections next. Alright, what have we got here then? Another one with a dark heart. Ooh. Okay, I accept. This one we can we can actually process. And we'll take the blood as well. But otherwise you're going on the pyre. There we go. And yeah, we'll just drop all of that off. Uh, we'll go and drop off the story as well. I'm a little bit tired, but it's fine. Let's leave that there. Alright. 
Now then. With that done. Are do either of these corpses going to be close? How long does it take? No, they're quite far away yet. That's fine. I think we may actually have a... Yeah, we've got two pyres left, so sure, we'll get that corpse straight on the pyre. I like the fog effect, though. Looks suitably eerie for us to burn uh, a funeral pyre. Drop all of these off, and... Alright, we're done there. Uh, which of these will we go for? Sure, we'll, we'll remove you. The bodies on the embalming tables should be done by the time that I'm finished preparing this grave to receive one of them. There, and I'm fairly certain we can... Uh, we've, we can just get rid of this corpse straight away. There's no particular worry about this one having blood because it's amongst the corpses where I'd finished um, prepping and I was always taking the blood out and the uh, fat out without issue. There you go. And let's get you out there then. And then we are going to portal over to our friend the astrologer. And hopefully we're going to find that... Uh, He's ready to receive us, and he's not going to ask for anything else. There we go. Now then, uh, Reaper, and... Oh, we'll get a, a an angel down the bottom, I guess. So. Let's get you done. Lovely. 628. I approve. Uh, sure, we best go and grab some things to sell with uh, at Heradrix. I mean, we've got all of the, the berry pies, but that's not exactly... We, d we don't want to sell all of those at once, otherwise it's going to drop the, the value enormously for a long time. We'll just break up this stone while we can. There we are. Not that we're really using stone for much of anything at this point, which is a bit of an oddity, but oh well. Uh, we'll have to start storing the ash right now because we don't yet have a replacement, uh, any new urns. Let's grab all of those. All the ash can go in there. Uh, is there anything else I want to bring with me? I don't think so. You know what? I'm just going to eat that so I can drop off some of these pies. There we go. Use. And we best have a quick sleep, I guess, just to get rid of the debuff. With that, let's go. Ah, right. To the lighthouse. Hello. I don't know what you wrote, but my professorship has been fully restored. And I've even been promoted. Ah, the best of all, the deed signed the expedition's papers. But we have a final problem. We need someone with aristocrat papers to accompany me. Ha ha, as it happens. It wouldn't normally be a problem to find someone, but considering the sensitivity of our situation, it should really be you. Get yourself some aristocrat papers. I'm depending on you. Uh, as it happens, I've already got them. We're good. Good. Everything is prepared. Now, one of the things with the aristocrat papers that is really odd is that they seem out of sync with when people ask for them. I'll send for my daughter. She will join us near the fort. All right. I start the Royal Expedition. Fantastic, we can just begin. But as I was saying, like sometimes characters seem to ask for aristocrat papers at a point in their quest line where you have to have completed something for someone else in their own quest line, which required the aristocrat papers. And yet it presents it as if, yeah, this is your next challenge. Go and do it. But you've already got them. <laughs> start the Royal Expedition. Okay, cutscene. Oh, are we actually going to see what's in the fort? We have papers from the university. We need to go to the old archaeological site. You may pass, but I'll have to let Lord Commander know you're here. Oh, there's no need. Brave soldier, let him sleep. We'll talk with him in the morning. Thank you both for helping me. <laughs> Where can we find Wagner? He should be in the camp near the road. Oh, yeah, well. As it happens, look over there. There's a chest. Oh, look at all of this stuff. I wish I could have been here before. 
It looks like the soldiers are sleeping. Show some of the sounds, yeah. Wagner. Oh, Miss Charm, you shouldn't see me like this. It's all right. I see only your inner beauty. Be quiet. How can we get this cage open? I have some lockpicks. I had a pretty rough youth. We need to hide him. Then we can get him out of one of the crates. Wagner, what a beautiful name. I was kind of rushed. There you are. You've ruined everything. My son should have been a glorious knight, and now we don't need them anymore. So he decided to become a writer. What a shame. You're the one who blew up the passage. It's all your fault. It wasn't my fault. We need a new calculation after the Great Blast. I think our golden angle wasn't that accurate, so... Ah, excuses. I know that something's going on. First this creature, then your expedition. You're all traitors. You're probably a witch. Oh, hang on now. I'm with the Inquisition. I'm undercover. You can kill me if you want, but release my daughter. Father, I can't live without my father and this young man. I have connections at court. Can I just leave, please? <laughs> the court. I'm the king's uncle. And I am his son, Wagner. Oh, shut up. I'll admit Wagner is, of course, is a great disappointment. But this is too much, even for him. Well, that's harsh. I can prove it. I have a birthmark just above the left of my uh, tail. But super shifty. It should be somewhere around here under my fur. You know, I'm just gonna kill you all. No bodies, no problem. I can help with the bodies, Lord Commander. Really? I am such a turncoat. So it seems that this is the end. Forgive me, daughter. I cannot change what I did. But right now, you are everything to me. Father, this is the best day of my life. I found my father and my love. Really? It's the constitution's best. Well, you've had a rough life. Wagner, let me kiss you. Ah. Ah! Bloody controller. Yes, father. It's me. You nearly killed your own child, but I forgive you. I have a deal to offer you. I'll become a knight, but you have to let everyone else go. Sounds fair. As for you, old man, we're not done. But for now, you can all go. Oh. Don't be sad. We'll be together soon. Here, take this necklace. I think it belongs to you. I bought it using my father's name. I wanted to make it a surprise. Everything seems to have ended up well. You know, except the whole me trying to portray you all and throw you under the... the well, the wagon. I don't know, my young friend. I think we still have a lot of problems. Wagner is alive and safe. Come along, father. I want you to show me where you live. And you. Thank you for everything. Is there anything I can do for you? That necklace, actually. I, I mean, really? I... I... My character is a jerk. Seems like it's already helped me. I hope it helps you now. Here, take it. Oh, young man, I managed to get a golden angle from my old stuff after all. It's yours, as we agreed. Thank you, both. You're far too kind to me. You look like your mother. Oh, But I'm as smart as you are. Ha <laughs> ha. What's to say she wasn't smart? <sighs> I am an utter jerk. Utter. Utter. Unredeemable jerk. A huge jerk face. My goodness. How did I become such a jerk? I don't know. Also, it pains me the fact that the whole area is there. And we just couldn't go there until a cutscene took us there. And then we couldn't do anything else. Ah. <sighs> Alright, let's have a look. What do I need to do now? You need to get back home. Activate the portal on which hill? Craft a spirit laser. To switch on the portal. But do I have all the things I need? I think I do. I have no more quests. <gasps> Is this the last episode? You know, if I was Dark Avak, I would say, huh, we'll find out next episode. Ho, ho, ho. But no, I'm not. Let's go and see.
That may be the last speed potion I've ever uh, going to need. <sighs> I'm going to be a little bit sad that this is the end of the game. That that whole section there, though, did feel a little bit like a roller coaster. It's like, yeah, just throw, throw me at the plot devices. Just hurl me at them. No, no, I don't need a helmet. It's fine. My neck has been uh, has been toughened up through years of rugby. Okay, I, ah, right, right, right. I need to go and grab the stuff. It looks like we may be able to get home. I wonder how the, how it's gonna end. I actually don't have any ideas or even predictions for how it's gonna end. I I have no idea. Let me grab. Okay, well, all of these things. There we go. And I guess we don't need any of these things anymore. Actually, I'm, I'm about to do something crazy that may or may not have caused the Great Blast and killed everyone before. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have quite a lot of booze. Also a lot of speed potions so I can run really, really fast. So I don't need this story. I'm going to leave it in the, uh, in the cellar down here. As my predecessor did, I'm going to put all of these cool stories in the cellar. And hopefully if I do cause some sort of great cata catastrophical explosion, it will uh, collapse these walls. And uh, whoever comes after me is going to have to, you know, go through a little bit of work to unbury them and then recover my notes etc etc and the cycle of life will continue undisrupted on the other hand maybe we actually do get home that would be nice too let's go and have a look then got everything we need craft the barrel okay it was that easy craft the emitter oh okay everything is ready and what's next How do you turn on the portal? Oh, hi. So, you're going to leave? Well, that's what I was trying to do all this time. I need to go back to my love. I'm really sad now. I'll miss you. Oh, I'll miss you too. Sad. Hmm, I remember. This portal isn't just for traveling. It can make your heart's desire come true. Hmm, it seems like something went wrong with my wish. Anyway, it's not working. Hi, friend. We've come to say goodbye. How did you know? Well, we've been banned from the town. Two brothers, one in the royal court, the other is a high cleric. Uh, that sort of thing looks suspicious to the royal council. We went to the tavern, and the Lawrence had a feeling in his stomach that you were here. But I did manage to excommunicate half the town before we left. Ha ha ha! Now the only official church is the church beside the graveyard. Uh, you can take that church and garden if you want. The symbols are starting to shine. Ah, uh, of course. I see. Peter, Harvard. We barely managed to escape the town. The Lord Commander used all his influence to slander us. To be honest, it wasn't hard to find something to pin on us. The town is quite a mess these days. The dead rise. The Lord Inquisitor is accused of being the leader of a dark cult. It's a terrible time. Bishop has excommunicated the town. <coughs> They were asking for it. We're going to hide in the lighthouse for a while. Maybe we'll be able to get in touch with Wagner somehow. I told you he'd be here. I see you're planning on leaving us, my friend. Yes, Monsignor. This is bad, very bad. The curse is only gaining the momentum. We can't stop it. It may be too late. I should feel great about it, but I'm not. We're going to settle here and rebuild our old house. Oh, that's quite nice. This place is sacred and protected from the curse. But still, we'll be facing an amazing time. Everything will change. I'll pray for our safety. Oh, there we go. The final light is lit. Oh, that's actually a nice effect. It works! At last! My wish came true! I'll be with my love. Ah! Once again! Sweetheart, my love, uh, this is the wrong way round. I was meant to go through, oh, uh, okay. I, <laughs> the heart fade. <laughs> Wait a minute, is that it? Why is the zombie apocalypse? The invasion from the north. Traveling on a ship with the merchant. Hell, the town. Nobody ever even showed us the town. I know, right? I'm disappointed. Nah. They're just a bunch of greedy capitalist pigs. 
with all that stuff, they'll make a ton of DLCs to earn some extra money. <laughs> oh, this is a little bit too on the nose, guys. <laughs> You're right, comrade. Let's go grab a beer. A carrot martini for me. <laughs> Hi, that sounds actually quite nice. Uh, I'll have a jalapeno margarita, please. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. I quite like it when when people poke fun at themselves or, or when games are very self-aware in that kind of fourth wall breaking sense but that was a little bit too on the nose for me like I don't know it wasn't just a tap on the nose I feel like someone just punched me in the nose. no no it's a little bit more than a punch that was a headbutt a firm grabbed me by my ears headbutted me on the nose yeah I'm not I'm not sure I approve of that right at the end there but there we are the game is done, and I have had a really, really good time playing it. I know there have been reasons to be disappointed, and certainly the town, and in fact that ending, that little part right at the end there, was a little bit of a slap in the face. But as far as the game goes, judging it based only on what exists in the game, a fantastic experience. Like I said, the grind, when there was a grind, was a pleasant grind. The time grind right at the end there, a little bit to be desired, honestly. But I fancy that if maybe I just completed the quest in a different order, that, like, I'm just passing time to talk to the astrologer thing wouldn't have been the case. Um, so that that's, uh, you know, a forgivable problem. It still, it would have been better to be designed in such a way that I couldn't accidentally leave myself just having to pass time. But as far as the grind in the game, again, it was a grind that I enjoyed doing because I felt like I was constantly making progress. Overall, I would say that this is a really, really enjoyable game and I would be happy to recommend it to anyone who enjoys these sorts of time management games, really. But that is going to be it from me. I imagine when this video goes out, I am still going to be at TwitchCon not long before I return home. So uh, we'll have to see what series is going to be replacing this one. Do let me know down in the comments what you thought about the series as a whole and whether you yourself uh, actually bought the game and what you have, uh, what your experiences with the game have been. I know some people have spent a lot of time in the game building up their their graveyards, as I mentioned. One of the Daplings has reported that he's gone up to 1,200 uh, uh, graveyard quality, which is pretty impressive considering we were only at to 600 mind you we weren't realistically using half of the graveyard at the time so it kind of makes sense but that is gonna be the end there so thank you so much for sticking with me through all these episodes i think we were up to is it 75 76 in the full release plus like 30 odd in the alpha it's quite a lot of episodes all things said and done so once again thank you so much for uh, bringing me into your homes of an evening or perhaps a morning to share the experience with you and i will see you in the next series but until then and as always take care everyone